Here are two uh, interesting French knives. These are both liner locks and um, uh, these two knives are kind of falling into the bucket of uh, regional knives which are um, you know, knife shapes that typically would uh, be um, uh, customary for a particular region in France where they had their own sort of patterns and um, you know, knife, knife blade shapes and accessories that they would have had but um, you know sort of uh, taking advantage of tourism and the um, fact that some regions didn't really have a knife pattern of their own. People are coming up with their own knife patterns and naming them after regions as a way to uh, sort of market that. So these fall into that category. Um, these are both liner locks. Um, they both have handle scales that are uh, attached on the outside. Um, there's no maker mark on them and I can't find a maker um, for these in particular, so I'm not sure who manufactured these. Um, these both uh, have Z100 or Xeron 100, which is what they call a super duplex stainless steel. Um, it's very corrosion resistant. Uh, I'm not sure how it holds up as a, uh, as a knife blade, uh, but it is kind of an exotic steel. Um, they're both uh, one-handed openers. They have the little thumb stud here. Um, they both have the little um, uh, symbolic moosh or the little um, shape that's on the end of the spring. In this case there really isn't a um, um, it's, it's forged, I mean it's not forged, it's, a, it's a, um, welded, welded attached. This one has a, an ermine which is the um, uh, sim symbolic uh, um, the, the symbol for uh, Brittany um, and uh, this is called the braise which is uh, braise cantel which is the, uh, the Breton language for uh, Brittany. Um, again, it's a, a one-handed opening liner lock. has sort of a little Gaelic symbol on there. Um, hollow ground, which is fairly unusual for uh, French knives. Typically, those are, those are flat ground. Um, nicely made. Uh, the handle scales on this one is boxwood, or bouis, uh, in French. Um, the fit and the lock mechanism is quite, quite solid. Um, it's a nice, it's a nice uh, sort of modern, modern-looking knife with a little uh, hole in the scales for uh, for lanyard. Um, so they 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 run around uh, fifty or sixty euros. Um, assembled with um, uh, Allen head screws for the pivot and um, slotted screws for the handle scales. But it's, it's a nicely made uh, liner lock in a little bit different pattern. Um, this one is called the Corrèze. The Corrèze is a an area in uh, sort of uh, middle southern uh, France area. This one has olive wood scales and um, again it's got uh, a little leaf symbol here where the mouche would normally be. Um, looks like it's stainless steel um, stainless steel uh, liner um, slotted head screws again for the uh, for the scales. It's also a one-handed opening um, blade looks identical to the uh, braise um, blade shape, I believe. Let's open it up and see. Actually, the braise has a little more of a drop point, um, where this one has a little bit more of a standard um, just a curved blade. Um, handle shape, slightly different. It still has a little lanyard hole, so they've done a little bit, little bit different, uh, different shape to set them apart. Um, but again, a nicely made knife, uh, not terribly expensive. Um, again, the knives in France are typically uh, hand handmade. Um, a lot, you know, a lot of handwork in the in the manufacturing, um, and so you're getting uh, you know a lot of a lot of work in the knife um, for not a lot of money.